When I think of summer flowering plants, the first thing that immediately springs to mind is lavender. It's beautiful flowers, it's iconic scent, and it works well in any garden setting, whether it's modern or a cottage garden. And welcome to this week's Wednesday walk around. So if you have lavender, you can pair it with so many things. You've got obviously rosemary, which works very well. This is a particularly lovely scented rosemary called Roman Beauty. We've got a small selection of our 14 centimetre herbs left in stock. But another thing, particularly in that cottage garden uh, feel, is grasses. So things like the Hakana Chloe's here. You've got stipers, anamantheles, all sorts. And they all go really well together, give you a lovely summery feeling. If you fancy something a bit more architectural in there as well, we've got the agapanthus that we've looked at before. We've got these lovely carex. Or if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, these globe artichokes. A bit of fun, lovely architectural statement. Now, of course, another lovely flowering summer plant is the jasmine. And we've got a range of these at the moment in full flower and smelling absolutely incredible. So, we've looked at uh, sort of tropical gardens. And we've got a few things in now which you might like if you go for that kind of feel. If I show you through here. Oh, the gunner is back in stock just as we're passing. And then round the side here we've got our lovely citrus fruits back in. So we've got lemons, we've got uh, kumquats. And these lemons are edible, so if you fancy a bit of uh, G&T with a slice of lemon, you can now grow your own. Uh, and out here, lastly, we've got these incredible vines. So this is your, your grape vines, um, different varieties. You can use these to make uh, a glass of wine. You might need quite a few to make a whole bottle. Uh, we've got mini standards we've got these lovely big mature characterful ones and we still have a small range of fruit here as well with these fantastic vine trios now these are fun if you fancy trying to grow grapes these have got three different varieties in one pot and you can grow them up and over a pergola, up a trellis, however you want to train them. And they're absolutely superb. Give it a go. It's a bit of fun. If you don't end up using the grapes, it's not the end of the world. So, on that fruity note, I shall leave you for this week. And I'll see you next week for another Wednesday walk around. Take care. Bye.